Biden admin signals it will now recognize Armenian genocide. And this is a top stories report. And this is the top story of the top stories report. So we'll get to that first in this top stories report. And this, I'm going to call this in the video, Biden admin prepared to acknowledge Armenian genocide by Turks. And our top link here is Biden preparing to recognize Armenian massacres as genocide reports. This is from HuffPost.com. President Joe Biden is reportedly preparing to formally recognize the early 20th century massacre of Armenians as genocide, a designation he pledged to make during his campaign, but one that could further strain the U.S. alliance with Turkey. Biden is expected to make the announcement on Saturday, which is Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day. Now, it's, it's, it's a really... There's so many twisted entanglements involved in many of the alliances around the world today, and, and Turkey is a part of many of them. And even in the United States, right now, for instance, the United States is not very interested in Turkey's designs to essentially... What Turkey is really looking to do is it's eventually take over northern Syria. Now, it's two competing allies and also its adversaries at the same time, Russia and the United States, both have no interest in the Turks having a strong presence in northern Syria, but the Russians do not have a an interest in the United States being in northern Syria, so they're kind of playing a game where they're kind of enabling the Turks to a little degree and kind of not. But on the other front, the Turks are opposing Russia, and they're opposing Russia in Ukraine because they would not like to see the Russians have a strong presence in the Black Sea. They would very much, that's their, their, that's their northern coast, so they would very much like to see the Russians not have a strong presence in the Black Sea, and they would prefer to see, uh, I would say generally that what they would like to see is more instability in the region than any kind of consolidation other than them. So, but it's, so in that front, they're kind of aligned with the United States, who wants to get their little, our little grubby little hands on the Crimea, so that we can box the Russians in in a significant way. This is the none of this, like I say over and over again in many of these reports, there is no morality here, there is no justice, there is no no ethics at play. These are all pure nation statism. It's Erdogan's interest, it's the corporate nationalist of America's interest, and it's the Putin and his allies' interest that are all swirling around here. And and this is an opportunity for the corporate nationalist of America to put another check on the Turks so they would be supporting the Armenian massacres uh, being declared as genocide, something that should have been done a long time ago. But because if we're actually following justice, then, well, it's pretty clear. The Armenian genocide was, in fact, an Armenian genocide, and the Turks should should come to terms for that. Meanwhile, while the Armenian genocide is being continued, let's remember, not too long ago, the Armenians and the Azerbaijanis got into a war, and the Russians uh, kind of forced their um, Armenian Orthodox Christian allies to take one in the chin and to lose significant territory that really puts Armenia at risk in favor of the Muslim-led and Turkish-allied Azerbaijanis. That's another interest. In, uh, uh, there, there the, the Russians were kind of appeasing somewhat their, the, the, well, the, really the Turkish-Iranian-Azerbaijani kind of troika going on right there. So, like I said, it's all very complicated. Uh, other top stories from, from today that I put in a top stories report. We have Florida Senate considers abandoning bill banning biological males from female sports from Christian headlines. And I'm going to eventually I want to do a, a, some report on this this whole thing about uh, how it is that everybody is reacting to transgenderism in America. And it's just another example where we have factions that are staking claims basically in defense of their factions, which is preventing them from dealing with transgenderism in some sort of adult way. The idea of just passing broad legislation, preventing biological males from, from entering into female sports is draconian, over the top. The idea of just wholesale letting biological males 
compete in female sports is also uh, draconian and over the top. But the the quote unquote right uh, has a, a legitimate reason to defend this territory, and the quote unquote left has a uh, in, 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 as in using transgenderism as a weapon to assault uh, orthodox heteros heter, 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 I don't know, heterodox, uh, no, uh, orthodox, uh, I'll say, uh, uh, yeah, well, orthodox male-female parameters because they, they intend to do very insidious things once they get their nose under the camel's tent. And on the other side, the, the quote-unquote left has reasons to defend against the right using transgenderism as a weapon to reestablish the 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 orthodoxy of the right that put transgenders in closets there's a conversation to be had there manhattan to stop prosecuting prostitution part of a nationwide shift that's from new york times.com indonesian military says submarine missing with 53 on board and this is a story that i've been following for a while this may end up being a topic report as well soon indonesian military says a navy submarine is missing near the resort island of bali with 53 people on board prayers for those 53 people i i don't think it looks very good for them but still prayers nonetheless uh, border patrol apprehends nearly 150 undocumented migrants in tractor trailer from Yahoo News. Israel says it strikes targets in Syria after missile attack from ABC News. And finally, India sets global record of more than 314,000 COVID-19 infections in a single. That's unbelievable. 314,000. I've always said about, well, not always. In the beginning, I actually thought, well, first I thought this was my maybe like terrifying bubonic plague type uh maybe not quite that but terrifying bubonic plague levels and then i kind of grossly under under underscored the threat of covid19 and now i'm somewhere maybe towards in the middle where i recognize covid19 is a threat that we should take precautions for but uh i'm not feeling that it's nearly the threat that I thought it was initially either. So I don't think that the, the measures that we've taken have been completely justified, that they've been extremely draconian and they have been used for nefarious ends. Once again, the plea of the needy is being twisted and they're being lied to so that they can continue to be oppressed by the powers that be. And that's the end of our uh, top story report.